what's up everybody today we're going to be unboxing the hyper x cloud stinger headset um, I had a wonderful surprise delivery from Amazon this morning I did not order this uh, somebody sent it to me and uh, I'm very very excited to try this out um, and I'll show you why so this Logitech headset is what I've been using um, there's a couple of issues with this thing number one is uh, the volume adjustment and the mute unmute for the microphone accidentally gets pushed all the time um, and this dial to control the volume is very finicky and it cuts in and out a lot as it is adjusted um, the nice thing though is that it's the two three and a half millimeter ports so uh, there's no charging or batteries involved the big problem is though the size of these ear cups are too small and so it sits directly on the ear like this which after you use it for about an hour um, your ears will get very very sore <laughs> and it actually becomes quite uncomfortable so that's what I was using and today we're going to be migrating over to an actual gaming headset the once again it's the HyperX Cloud Stinger so let's just go ahead and start opening this bad boy up. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so we'll just set that aside. And again, this thing clearly is labeled PC, Xbox One, PS4, Wii U, Mac, and mobile phones. So it's quite a universal headset, which is really nice. that okay now I'm opening the box for the very first time it looks like there's a little registration card yep congratulations thank you for joining the HyperX team awesome a uh, very basic quick start setup guide um, so it looks like as you swivel the microphone piece up and down that's what mutes the mic or not so that's kind of cool uh, because on this headset it's a little button on the side that I accidentally push constantly um, so that will be nice so this this position will be muted this position the mic is functioning there's also a volume slider on the side of the ear cup looks like on the right hand side and then really basic how to plug things in use with an Xbox controller that sort of thing and also the PS4 um, I'm just going to be using this bad boy straight with the PC, so there's nothing too fancy. Um, you know, these packing materials are good foam, uh, nice and solid, feels really nice. Pull the headset out. Oh, it's heavy. That's a good sign. When things are heavy, it usually means they're made with quality materials and everything. So the first thing you notice here is it uh, <coughs> comes with... An extension cord that goes from the single jack of the headset and splits watch out girl to the microphone and speaker input for the computer and I imagine uh, the single port here is probably for the PlayStation and uh, actual gaming console controllers because they don't have the double ports like the PC or Mac does so speaker microphone will be using that one and uh, so again, it looks like the, the microphone, if it's vertical like this, will be muted. If you have it down like that, the mic will be functional. Um, the ear cups swivel to be flat. Um, and notice the difference in size of these ear cups. I mean, this HyperX and dwarfs these. So this headset, the ear cup style is called on ear. This cup style with its huge size is over the ear, which is going to be a lot more comfortable for gaming or extended use. Um, the slider bands are actually metal in there. It's not plastic. So it should be quite durable. Um, there's quite a bit of adjustments here and flexibility for the headset, which is really nice. The microphone bends easily. 
and holds shape so you can get it close to your mouth or further away for volume control as well as comfort. So first impressions this thing looks really really nice has great reviews online um, and so at this point I'm really excited to try it. It has a nice foam cushion on the top for the head so I'm gonna go ahead and get this all hooked up and give it a whirl. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick little in-game test here with the new headset. Uh, it gets really loud, so the slider is on the right ear cup. I have it turned turn down quite a bit because it's pretty loud. Must apologize, I'm kind of coming down with a sickness, so sniffling is sounding kind of terrible. <laughs> However, um, the headset's really, really comfortable. There's no pressure on my ears at all. It's only about a thousand times better than the LG headset I was using. Um, so, if you're a gamer, if you're a streamer, looking for a new headset, this thing is universal. You can use it with a tablet, your phone, your Xbox, PlayStation, Mac, PC, all that good stuff. So, um, you know, this is the first time I'm using it in game. Again, it's very comfortable. It's got good stereo quality sound. Um, and this will be my new headset of choice moving forward. And I'll be using it for my upcoming videos and streams. So like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more. Right on. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. Deuces.